Thanks for schooling me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump on the memory chain for a while. I guarantee some of the stuff will make you smile. Let's stop at a brick schoolhouse by the name of Hygienic and visit some of the memories and hopes that were formed in it. Just let your mind relax and take it slow and go back with me years and years ago. Mom, how many more days do I go to school, you ask? Seems like school days couldn't come too fast. Getting your hair straightened at home or down Miss Burt Smalls or hair cut by Mr. Blue, patent leather shoes, greased down legs, feeling brand new. On the way you stop at Mrs. Judy's for some candy or Miss Donahue's for some taffy, but you make sure you save a nickel so you can stop at the school at Miss Anderson's for a nice juicy pickle. After school, if mom didn't feel like cooking, she'd send you across the street to Miss Watson's store to get some of those hamburgers for supper to eat. Kids coming from far and wide, walking up Adams Street, down Bessemer, Front Street, or Christian Street if they were coming from the west side. Before the west side kids could walk those hills, they stopped at Izzy's store, then go a little further to Mr. Eccles and get some more. The patrol cars are standing on the corner, making sure you don't break the rules by straying from the past on the way to the schools. The teachers are waiting as we run to beat the bell. They never, never fail to yell. Hey, you boys, stop running before you break a limb. Get on this school and get off that jungle gym. Do you remember the spelling bees and the talent shows? And Saturday the Elton movie when the school was closed? What about the girl in their white dresses? What day do you think they wore them? I'll give you two guesses. At the beginning of each day, the Pledge of Allegiance and the Lord's Prayer will be say. Some teachers really cared. Some were strict. Some stricter than others, but we respected them for they were like our fathers and mothers. They were strong leaders, believing in what they were doing. They drilled in our head, continue your education or your life will be in ruin. They also believed in spirit of rise for the child, and when we acted up, we carried that rule for a while. What happened to those disciplinarians along the way? Let's see. So before we go home, let's stop at some school today. It's 9 a.m. Where are the pupils in this class? Well, here they come, but they're dragging, not even attempting to walk fast. They're sitting everywhere but on a chair. My God, is noisy in here. Maybe it'll quiet down when they have a prayer. What do you mean they took prayer out of schools? Do they know that was dangerous? Why were they such fools? Listen to that teacher cussing out the kids. Where's an example? It's only 9.30, and this is just a sample. People, we got to do something. This is so sad. I didn't know things were this bad. Parents, wake up. Can't you see what's happening in our schools? We need to go back to the basics and establish some rules. Take an interest in your schools. Visit them. Pray for them. Don't let the good teachers that do care try to do this alone, but the lesson must begin at home. Well, this little journey is coming to an end now, but before I leave you and take my bow, remember God selects the young because they are strong. It's up to us older ones to show them where they're going wrong. And if we can help some child from dying or ending up in some jail, then we know the strong leadership of our hygienic, hygienic teachers did not fail. Welcome back.